Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm thrilled and honored to stand in front of you and talk to you a little about education and about why I teach and um, why education is so important to me. Um, I also would like to share a little bit of my personal history and the sacrifices that I have made and all of us are here ready to make to make education work in, Uni in Utah. Um, I, um, I was born and raised in Iran to a set of parents with combined five years of education. Uh, my mother was taken out of school after two years when she could read enough to read the holy book. And they took, him out, took her out and put her in a um, Persian rug factory to weave the world famous Persian rugs from um, Esfahan. My father was taken out of school after three years um, when he was good and ready to count money, he was put to work. But these two were the two of the most intelligent human beings I have ever had the privilege of knowing. And because of their ways and because of the sacrifices that they made um, and the way they taught me how important education of another human being is, I decided I wanted to become a teacher. From the very, very early childhood, I wanted to become a teacher because my mother is the one who um, taught me how important every human being is. In a country where the education was taken away from her, she provided the best for the six of us. And I am very happy to tell you that we are six very highly educated um, people. Um, I remember my oldest brother telling us a story of when he was a tiny little boy small enough to be put on a railing of a bicycle, and my father took him through, weaved through the horrible ter traffic in Tehran and took him to the University of Tehran, showed him the edifice and told him, this is where you're going to go to school to become a doctor. Um, Reza is a radiologist today. Sacrifices, we were here to make sacrifices. Um, but I, when I graduated from high school, um, I took an entering exam, and the entering exam was good enough. They decided that I was good enough to become an agricultural engineer. I didn't want that. So I went to my mother and I said, Mom, I have to leave. I want to go to the United States to become a teacher. I want to be like you. And she did make the sacrifice. She allowed me to leave, and 36 years later, I'm standing in front of you proud to be an educator. But it's not easy. It's not easy and sacrifices were made. In 1983, when I thought I could not go back and forth, I was stuck. Iran was in the middle of a war, horrible war with Iraq. And I was not graduating. I had dropped out of school. I was struggling. I called mom and said, mom, please send me a ticket. I have to come back. And she said, son, I would much rather you be in another part of the world where I don't see than coming here and getting killed and I'll see you every Friday in a cemetery. We have to make sacrifices. And today our education needs help. We need sacrifices. I think we need collaboration. In, um, in a world where um, the work workforce is looking for problem solvers, team players, critical thinkers. Um, we're lacking that. Dr. Kagan um, quotes that today our kids are watching TV an average of 1,680 minutes per week. That's more than four hours per week they're watching TV. And they're conversing with their parents less than 40 minutes per week. That's less than five minutes per day that they're talking to their parents. These kids need to be ready to be team players. They need to be, be collaborating together. We need to have them have resources that's equitable for them to be able to, to be successful. And my job is here to tell you that we need you. Education is not in trouble, but it needs help. And I'm hoping that every one of us in this room realize that how important every one of you are and how important it is that every one of you make a sacrifice for our kids, for John, 
to grow up to be the president of the United States that he wants to be. Thank you very much. Thank you.